Hi guys, so I'm here today to tell you about the Curly Girl Method. So, um, I have been sulfate free for quite some time, but my hair was still just not curling. It was just really, really heavy. Um, it was a lot of effort to get my hair to wave or curl, even though it's naturally that way. Um, it was just hit and miss. If you, if you pass the brush from my hair, it goes straight and it's just a nightmare. So I thought I'd look into it a little bit more. So I started off by purchasing the book on it. Um, and this was from Amazon and it was only like seven pounds next day delivery. Um, and it's really, really interesting. And it also comes with a DVD, which is pretty good with some demos on it. It talks about kids curly hair. Um, it's really, really good. So if you do want to know more, I do highly suggest getting this book because it's very, very interesting. Um, and there's some really good like homemade recipes and stuff like that to refresh your hair with. So um, yeah, do have a look at this. Um, it is written by Lorraine Massey or Macy. <laughs> Sorry, my my spellings are all awful. Um, so yeah, she's kind of the curl queen. So. I kept trying it and my hair was getting curlier but it was just like heavy and long and I've heard of Diva Curl which is in the USA, I've known about it for years because I've done Camp America as a camp leader um, 10, yeah 11 years ago now and some of the kids got their hair cut at Diva Curl um, and yeah so I've sort of known about it for quite a long time. And I just happened to Google like curly hair salons in the UK thinking nothing will come up and I found Spring in Birmingham which is Spring is in the hair which I think is a awesome name. As a business owner I really appreciate business names and I think that was like wicked. Um, and that is um, ran by a guy called James who was trained by Lorraine and I thought you know what I'm going to go. I get my hair cut by him and they've got a really good team I was there and everyone looked amazing um, and basically they cut your hair dry so you want to go in with your hair in its natural state and they'll cut it dry sort of curl by curl it was sort of um, not individual curls at the end it was but when they're doing the length they'll take it off so um, James asked me what I wanted I just said I, I don't care about going shorter or staying the length but I want my hair to be more defined it just felt like it was hanging um, and I am all one for the bigger the better hair basically so he suggested taking it up at the back a little bit leaving it longer at the front um, and just getting the best out of my hair so my hair was pretty much one length I just had it cut um, about a month ago because I was getting sick of my hair just wasn't doing anything so I'm a little bit gutted because about four months ago it was about here um, and I was just getting fed up of it not doing anything so I had it cut to here and now it's short again and I really want it down to here so but I know sometimes you need to have a big chop to get what you want so um, the layers had the most off and I didn't know I needed them but you can already see that the hair is a lot more defined and I'm going to put a few of the before and after um, pictures that I took in um, so yeah it was a really good experience about a two hour appointment so they cut your hair and then they wash it and they use the tra uh, Trapadora range I think I'm pronouncing that right um, in that salon which is a really nice experience anyway um, because the clay wash they use they put on your hair dry and really massage your scalp with it and it's it's a really really nice sensation so it's a really good experience and you can ask them questions about what to do with your hair um, so that's really good and then they'll put you into a dryer and put clips in your hair to keep the volume up which is ex also explained um, in the book which is a really good thing to do I did this yesterday and I'll show you what I mean so you just get one of these clips and as it dries you just pop it in like this all the way along the back and it will just make sure you get volume so with my hair especially um, at school people used to tell me I had a perm because my roots were flat and my hair was really curly so it would be really straight and then really really curly but it was just the weight of my hair just dragging my roots down and I feel like doing this clipping has actually made the layers go a lot curlier so that's a really good tip for anyone even straight hair I think could do with a bit of a boost um, yeah, so then they dry your hair under the dryer and scrunch it and you're done. And it's really, really good. So most people that go to these um, curly hair salons, you only need your hair cut about every five to six months. 
or just when it needs it because it's been really looked after then if you follow the curly girl method it's just got so much moisture in it your hair should should flourish basically so the curly girl method is basically using products from that are free from silicones and sulfates um really kind to your hair correct alcohols things like that and I've, as i said earlier i've always always been into really good hair products because my hair just whatever i did even though i don't heat style it i haven't for years the odd the odd sort of every two months i'll blow dry my hair um it just wasn't looking good and i was feeling a bit fed up and i'd rather it be curly anyway because i like curly messy hair that's just sort of how i am um so I went for it. I think if you go and have your hair cut this way, you have to only wear your hair like this because if I straightened my hair now, it would be all over the place. And when I washed it, because it feels straight when it's washed, you can feel that it's, I don't know, it's all irregular because it is cut to where your, your curls are. So you've either got to go, if you get in the cut, you've got to stay curly, really. Um, unless it's at a really long length but if it's short you can see more of the different lengths so that's my biggest sort of disclaimer is that if you're going for it you've got to go for it but if you look at um a lot of videos before and after curl curly girl method journeys you can see people's hair just gets better and better and better and better the curls get better the curl pattern recovers um and i just think it's really worth it so i'm in this for the long haul at least this year I'm going to give it a good go and see what I can get. Um, so I've been using Shea Moisture products um, for a while now. So this time it was shampooed and conditioned with Shea Moisture. Then the um, Naughty Natural Hair Care Leave-In Conditioner and the Alberto Gianni Curl Jelly. I now have the Trepidora range which come today. Um, so I've got the Clay Wash, the Coconut Conditioner and the Papaya Slip. So I'm going to use these three on my next wash and see how I get on. Then the following wash I'm going to use the shampoo and conditioner um, and then the leave-in primer and the gel I think. And then I've got the Maca Moisture Balm. So I'm going to have a good play with these and then do a whole video on just the Trepidora range to see how I get on. I think wavy hair can be really hard to get right because it is so delicate and go, can go straight. Um, I say mine's all over the place. I've got pretty much straight bits at the front um, and really curly at the back. So I'm a mixture of 2B, 2C and 3A, I believe. Um, I don't know, it changes every day. So this is my journey. I'm gonna try and do a video quite regularly on Curly Girl Method and how I'm styling my hair, how I'm getting on, things I'm using. Um, I've got a satin pillowcase that I'm sleeping on and I've got some long sort of bud things to sleep in come in at the moment i've got scrunchies to put my hair up in so that it doesn't damage my hair what else have i got come in well that's it i might be getting a new um curly girl um microfiber towel soon and i've just subscribed to the curly girl subscription box so i'm going to do a review on that it's fairly new but only been out for a few months but it is a so if you've heard of glossy box or birch box it's one of those for curly hair how cool so um, i'm gonna give that a go so that should come in the next couple of weeks so um if you're interested in the curly girl method or you've done it and it's worked for you not worked for you or you've got a bit of wave in your hair and you you know interested comment below and i'll try and answer or, or just grab this book it's like seven eight pound off amazon and it's really really good very interesting um i enjoyed it my boyfriend's getting into it as well he's got curly hair um but it's short at the moment so He's got lovely curly hair, but he just doesn't know what to do with it. So he might be growing it. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know if he can be bothered. But um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So if you're on my Instagram, that's why there's just pictures of me all the time. Like, my curls. <laughs> that's basically it. Right, guys. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.